Fox tonight. New details about what led to a shooting that caused several schools in Vancouver to go into lockdown last week. Families in the Evergreen School District are upset after what they're calling a lack of transparency about what really happened. Fox 12 So Young Kim joins us live in Vancouver with the story. So Young. Nora, Pete, the communication from the district is being criticized by people in the community who feel a very traumatizing event for students is being downplayed. There are bullets going through our campus. Charles Kepler, a paraeducator, one of the football coaches, and a parent at Evergreen High School, who is also running for a position on the school board, describes the scary situation staff and students at the school experienced last Thursday. And I know that there were kids out there playing soccer, eating lunch. Like, that is the line of fire. According to the probable cause affidavit, Vancouver police say they responded to Evergreen High School last Thursday afternoon around 1.30. Upon arriving, officers say they were flagged down between the school and football field. And authorities say they found multiple shell casings and unfired rounds on the ground. VPD says they arrested 16-year-old Kakarson Hassan at, quote, the edge of school property, who was identified by school staff as the person allegedly responsible. This 100% was a student that through Thursday night was, was enrolled and actively coming to Evergreen High School. I have had interactions with this student at least a dozen times this year. As the investigation continues, community members say they're disappointed by what they're calling a lack of transparency and urgency from the district. Nobody was injured in the shooting, but people say the incident escalated after a fight broke out at the high school. Ethan Hadley picked up his brother from the high school that day and says it's important to let the community know what led up to the incident. If it started at lunch in the courtyard, the video of the fight, it's there's no doubting it. You can't deny it no more. I consider that campus, anything behind the football stadium, that's to me, that's all campus. They could start by admitting the truth to the parents, let the parents know that their kids' feelings are validated, hopefully step up their security, get an on-duty officer at the school. According to the document, school staff were also able to identify the two people being shot at and advised investigators that at least one of them is, quote, gang affected. In response to the community's reaction, a spokesperson for the district sent a statement saying in part, quote, in the letter that Superintendent Boyd sent to all EPS families and staff on Thursday night, he included the details and exact location where law enforcement said that the gunshots were reported to have been fired. It was important to share the exact location so people could differentiate the factual details shared by law enforcement from inaccurate information that was being shared in social media posts which included posts that said the gunshots were fired in the school there is an evergreen school district board meeting coming up tuesday evening live in vancouver so young kim fox 12 oregon